33 on the test, and then we'll be done. Uh, so go ahead and rewrite these. So they have x plus y equals 2, and 2x plus y equals negative 1. And the key, again, is getting the y's or the x's to be the same. And you notice right here that these y's are the same, right? So now I need to make them opposites, okay? So how do I make them opposites? Is I just multiply one of them by a negative 1, okay? And when I do that, it changes everything. Negative 2x minus y equals 1. And then this just comes straight over. x plus y equals 2. And then I add these two together. Okay? And I get negative x equals 3. So then I divide by negative 1. And I get x equals negative 3. Now, I just plug that back in. Okay? So, this is the easiest one. So, negative 3 plus y equals 2, right? And I solve for y. Plus 3 plus 3, and I get y is equal to 5. So, that means the intersection is at negative 3, 5. So, if I were to graph this, my intersection is at negative 3, 5. Okay? Now, if I graph these things, then I have to graph this. Well, if I plug in a 0 here, y will be 2, right? So then that would be uh, right here. If I plug in a 0 here, then x will be 2. Bam, there's my green one. And then my red one, I do the same thing with this. If I plug in a 0 here, then y is equal to negative 1. Okay? So that. Oh, no. y is equal to negative 1. So that. Okay? And then if I plug in a 0 here, then x is equal to negative 1 half. Okay? So x is negative one half. Bam. And they cross where I want them to cross. And that's good. And that is linear combination. Okay? Just one step at a time. Make sure that you have something the same, then make them opposite. Add them together so they disappear. So now all you have are the x's. And then you just do basic solution. Once you solve, you plug it in. And that, that's all you're doing.